Okay, so yesterday there were a few attacks in Paris. Now my videos are pre-recorded, so they'll be in upload, but upload. But this one is going to be uploaded immediately. Now there were a few attacks in Paris. 120 people died, I think. Let me just confirm that. You know, terrorists attacked and killed 132 people and injuring 349. Now, at the soccer stadium or suicide bombers, they only killed one other person. Gunmen at a concert hall in the Paris bars. This is. Now, for you people that, um, that are saying this happens every day in the Middle East and Africa and that, yes, but they have a lot less security. Their police force isn't that big. And their military isn't that big. But this was in a de well developed country. They may not be as big as the US or Canada for that matter, but they are still one of the larger countries. Now I also recently learned that Canada, my nation, Trudeau withdrew from the fight. Trudeau is our Prime Minister, our leader. I don't know why, but I really hope France does initiate NATO's Article 5, which forces us to fight. Now I don't want anybody dying for my country, but This terrorism has to stop. Now, I'm not racist in saying this. I'm saying terrorists, not Islamic people, not not um that religion. So I can't remember the name right now. Like um like. Muslim, that's it. Like, Muslims aren't bad people, they aren't terrorists. They're just here trying to live a normal life. They're there trying to live a normal life. But then terrorism. A view. I guess you could say, uh... A messed up version of the Muslim religion. That's what terrorists use to try and... Like... Persuade people, I guess, or that they were trying to cleanse everybody, but God never wants you to kill. Now, God wants you to prevent killing. He wants peace. Now, if we have to kill some people to save others, I'm not sure if that's exactly God's plan, but that might be. I consider myself religious a bit, okay? I'm actually quite religious. But this is just my reflection on this attack. In Paris, they had, well, all France had to close their borders to protect themselves. This is something that can't happen ever again. Germany already decided to aid in the fight. And the UK, I believe, is going to also aid them. The United States, I know they will eventually aid them. But this terrorism has to stop. It's, it's mostly... It's really, like... It's bad. I can't... Like, it's horrifying. Like, you could be easily sitting at home and a bomb could go down and go off downtown. Or you could be sitting in your office and a bomb goes off in your office. You could be sitting in an office and a plane hits your building. Yes, I'm referring to 9-11. Those people, they went there that day, not thinking that anything's going to happen. People on the 110th floor, people on the 30th floor, 
people on the floors that were hit. They didn't know their day was going to go like that. They walked in. So it was going to be a normal day. Normal day of work. Just wanting to go home at the end of the day like the rest, rest of us. One hour or two hours after they started work. I'm talking normals here. One to two hours after they started work, a plane hit the buildings. None of them were expecting it. People say terrorism isn't going to happen. In Canada or the US, or even places like Paris, Germany, they target the major cities. They also target small towns. They don't kill. Like, there was a terrorist attack in, in Canada for the first time. He's now serving life in prison since we don't carry the death sentence. But, it could happen. I'm not saying it will. I'm not supporting them in any way. Just saying it could happen. Truthfully, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not highly scared, but it could happen. Now, I don't say be scared. I don't say just go to. I don't say just stay home from work. Lock yourself in a panic room. I'm saying just be careful. There's a lot of stuff that can happen. Just be careful about it. Now, what wrong with that? It's like, all those people that were in Paris, they were there having a good time. Like the people in the stadium, the people in the bars, and even the people at the concert hall. They were having a good time. Carrying on with not daily activities, but activities that they enjoyed. Some that they paid for. Now, this has really affected more of the world than anything else really happening. This is really a massive kill. This massacre. This is from terrorists. They, they aren't going to stop. Terrorism is always going to be something. Hopefully one day, there will be a way to stop it, but as of right now, there isn't. Like, the United States... Can't really say Canada anymore, but the United States is mostly doing the work. They're mostly cutting down on the number of terrorists. But, how do I identify... How do you guys identify terrorists? He's Muslim. He has to kill somebody. No. No, not because he's Muslim. No, he's not killing anybody. A terrorist isn't Muslim. Let me just say that. A terrorist isn't East Indian. A terrorist isn't Middle Eastern. A terrorist is not black or white. A terrorist is not Asian. A terrorist is anybody that kills to induce fear that tries to take off mass killing. Now, racism really sucks, but at this point in time, governments are thinking, let's restrict access from Syria and places like that. I say, don't go for it, people can cross borders. I say, inspect everybody. At the strength, you're going to inspect someone else. Like, someone may talk different. Someone may be from... From East India, or... Or he may be from, uh... The Middle East. And he has this weird accent. That's not... That does not make him a terrorist in any way. Now, if he starts making threats, okay, he will be charged with making threats if he commits a terrorist act or mass killing. He 
he's going to be counted as a terrorist if he's doing it for terrorist means. It's in the name of their god. Now, that's not the same as me. Let's say joining the, the military or something. I'm saying I'm joining it to protect my nation because God wants it that way. Terrorists aren't protecting their nation either. They're just killing in the name of their God. And they don't even understand their religion that way. They don't understand their religion at all. Like, in of the Ten Commandments, one of them is Thou shall not kill. And that's pretty much true. You should not kill. These guys, they say they're killing in the name of their God. And that's just not right anyhow. Like, I could be saying, I'm bringing this guy, this homeless guy, some coffee in the name of God. Now, that seems right. You could boycott something in the name of God. That will cause harm to the company. But you can't boycott, or you can't murder in the name of God. Now, everything else I just mentioned is also for another reason. Like, I think it's just terrible when that happens. And yes, to the people of Paris, to the people that were killed in those terrorist attacks. I hope all the victims' families are getting through this. I know it's a tough time for you guys. I know you I know this shouldn't have happened. This was a known that it was going to happen. Some of you all the victims of your friends, possibly your family, killed around you, but you managed to survive. Now, even if you need therapy or something like that, you're prepared to go for it. I might help you. There have been no suicide reports of it yet, because of this. But, Sadly, I think there may be. But before that happens, try to share this video. Send it out. I won't have ads on it or anything. Send out this video. Share this video. Even if you don't like it, just please share it. If you think I'm making the wrong claims on anything, fine, you don't have to share it. But please, at least, if you need help, please go for it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to block you from getting any help. Just please, get the help if you need it. That'll be all for tonight. Thanks for watching.